Hello everybody, Joe Bagnones here, and welcome back for another episode of Muv Love Alternative to Animation. Uh, what happened last time? Well, Takaru, we finally made it back to his, uh, to his home, to his real world, the very, uh, poorly animated world with bad trees and grass. Oof, that was a rough cut. Not sure what they were thinking with that one. But, hey, you know, that was then, this is the now. Maybe things are gonna be great. Who knows? Fingers crossed, knock on wood. I just got off work, so I'm tired. My brain isn't working properly, so let's let's fucking knock this thing out. I don't have too much to say. Otherwise, uh, you'll just hear me rambling on and on and on. And uh, I do enough of that as it is on my other YouTube video. So if you'd like to like, comment, and subscribe, you can see those uh, whenever they're uploaded. Usually every other day. Uh, one just went up a couple hours before this one. Ooh, ooh. Does does does, does that interest you? Does that get you? Uh, you know, does that please the algorithm? Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, Muv Love. Yep, yep. Uh, what, what sub am I using this time? I'm using, using uh, I think I think it's like Yui sub or something. I was waiting, I was waiting for Reed VN to drop, but it's already been like a day and a half, and uh, I don't feel like waiting any longer. And I'm just you know, like, you know, using using whatever other subgroups are out there, mixing it up. Th this is one with the little little pre-intro thing, so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be... Uh, Starting there on three, two, one, go. And if you're using a sub that uh, is like, you know, has this little intro bit cut out, then you know, just do your own thing. You know, you know what to do. You guys, you guys are experts. Better at this than me. Anyway, let's just hop in there right from zero. Everyone ready? You got it open? Okay. Three, two, one, go. So yeah, we're back in the uh, the quote unquote extraverse. So peaceful with its limited animation. The American military industrial complex. There, I, I answered all your questions. Oh, what's up, Hikado? He's being pensive and brooding. Are they, though? You sure about that, or they just wear baggy clothes? Ah, oh, this person doesn't have uh, subs for the intro. Money unfortunate. If I'm uh, feeling generous, I might, uh, you know, uh, go in, record in OBS the beginning of that uh, of the read VN version with the subs and cut it in for the uh, for the uh, link down below for the Mega Drive and Bit Shoot. Mm. Does, does that incite you? Does that incite you people to click and like, comment, and subscribe and ring the notification bell and comment down below how awesome I am and how you are going to make five different alternate accounts to sub? Because that'd be cool. But. As you guys know, I really don't give a shit about that. Uh, who, who who gives a shit about subcount really? Like this is this is a side thing for me. It, it'll probably never be my main like anything. Like it's just it's just a hobby because I have I have literally nothing else in my life. But uh, but yeah, heck, even to get uh, the AdSense partnership, it's like you need. It's like you need a thousand subs and four thousand watch hours. So I think I'm at like like eight hundred fifty, nine hundred watch hours and like um, you know, mid forty subs. So at the rate this is going, you know, maybe maybe in uh ten years I'll uh, be able to put ads on these videos, which to be honest, I don't I don't even know if I ever would, because fuck ads. Oh, well, they get thrown on anyway, unless you're using ad blockers or pay for YouTube premium. Which honestly, I'm a fucking sell out and totally sub to youtube premium mainly, mainly for uh music oh hey sumika what's up god you look so weird without your big fucking air vent hair yeah cabbage rolls apparently they're really good
you know, metaphorically. Hey man, those all night gaming sessions, they take a lot out of you. This, this is, uh, I don't know. I, I was, I was about to say it. Oh, good face. That's a, that's a good reaction image right there. Uh, I don't want to say it falls flat, but you know, the whole, oh yeah, it's, it's the love interest. You know, you guys know her, right? She's, she's the love interest MacGuffin. It's, uh, don't, don't know why he did that. It's not like a portal opened and sucked him through. It's more like he's possessing that Takaru or like his, like, <sighs> overlaps with him. It's weird. It, it's, it's not entirely explained, but. Because people people do mention like in in the VN when he goes through, he's like, they're like, it, is that you? You look really fucking buff. So it's it's not just like uh, Steinsgate fucking pop the mind out into the time stream and you know do the thing thing majig. Yeah, you're gonna spill the beans. Oh oh, here we go. Mhm mm mhm. Mm Oh, yeah, the good shit. Mm-hmm. Beta is super fucking weird. Ooh, ooh, the Lunar War. Not the warrior class. Fucking rip their head right off. Mm-hmm. They're weird, not the same species. It, I feel like in the VN, it was a lot more like chilling of a, they're like, oh yeah, the conclusion, uh, we deduce that they're carbon-based life forms. And that was like the end of it. That was just like a mic drop, like that, that's all we got. Oh yeah, fucking Soviet test tube babies. Soviet psychic test tube babies. Yep. You see, you can tell she's Russian because she has white hair. Or it's, it's like a silverish lavender, I guess. But you guys know the stereotypes. Just like how all Americans are blonde and have blue eyes, all fucking Russian slash Soviet characters have snowish colored hair. It's like if Moss tried to talk to you. If your weeds in the garden started trying to, like, transmit images into your mind, would you care? Or would you just fucking spray them with a weed killer? And that is 
the MacGuffin, yes, but... You're too dumb. Mm-hmm. Almost like you can't lie or hide something from someone who can just delve into your mind and extract the truth. Also, uh, extremely convenient to have one of those people on hand on your side. Yeah, attached at the hip for those 30 seconds last episode. Very sweet of you, Kazumi. Oh no, you, you saw her pictures, how embarrassing. Oh yeah, fucking filler arcs, let's go! Fucking wingman sensei. God, Mr. Bun Bun is so fucking creepy. But she tried her best. Yeah, really, really not delved into uh, in this adaptation, but I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned before, but Cosmi, like, exhibits a fuck ton of characteristics that Sumika had in Extra. Oh, God. Of course you are. Yeah, fucking sit there and see, Sagiri, you bitch. What a fucking edgelord. God, I fucking hate Sagiri. Man, Sekiri is such a fucking creep. Like, I'm gonna fucking go right into Aimine's route in extra with him. So, spoiler alert if you fucking want to do that on your own, but hey, you know. Uh, he's like in his like mid to late 20s or something and a doctor at a hospital and married, but like, Aimine is his like childhood friend, neighbor who he'd go over and, like, get dinner at their mom's house. Oh, hey! Wow, your first fucking spoken lines this entire... this entire fucking show. Anyway, oh, yeah, I'm sitting here seething about Sigiri and how he's like, oh, yeah, I'll divorce my wife and abandon my child to fucking get some of that Ayamine. And it's like, bruh, you're an adult, and she's, like, in high school. You 
gonna gonna run on the beach and jump there and go umida Yeah, don't go all the way up. That radar dish, it'll fucking cook you like a turkey. We got some strong fucking radars on our uh, on our planes, and if like if they're on and you're staying in front of it, you'll like you'll start to feel a bit of a tingle. I guess like back in like the the early days of fucking radar in the winter, the dudes on the line would just stand in front of it because it would warm you up. It, it it was literally microwaving them. But, hey, man, fucking Falcon Gold, good pouting face, Cosme. Yeah, did you just, like, sleep in the boiler room? There you go. Another thing that isn't really brought up, uh, there's like no entertainment in this world, so everyone's really fucking good at juggling and playing hacky sack and doing Cat's Cradle, because that's like the only thing they have. God, fucking Japanese cities are so fucking big. Like, I know they're down in, like, Yokohama, which is part of, like, the giant fucking Tokyo metropolitan area, but I'm I'm from a city of, like, quote-unquote city of, like, 100,000 people where you can drive through downtown and be back in the woods in, like, two minutes. So, the endless concrete jungle of Tokyo is fucking nauseating to me. Mm hmm. Things don't just fall in your lap. Yeah, what's your hobby? What do you do for fun, Cosme? Are you a computer? Oh, of course. My dude's down hard. Well, that is fair. You are, like, 13. I mean, you can't keep secrets from her. So, yeah, I, that's a fairly reasonable thing to be nervous around someone about. You know, not being able to hide anything. It just everything you are just... It can be fucking pried open by them. Yeah, she just sees pictures. Like pictures, colors, and concepts. I mean, with time. I mean, eventually, the shitty, sucky stuff, like, washes away. 
and you know all, all that's there is the good stuff most of the time hopefully Excellent work, uh, JJ. Good old Mount Tengen. That fucking old bat where we, you know, bonded with Maya about the soul of Nippon. And how its citizens are its soul. And even, even if they will die in a volcanic eruption, it's not right to force them to evacuate. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, discussing politics over dinner. Ooh, these these are the these are the fun talks we have at work. You know, <laughs> discussing the current goings on in the country is always my favorite thing to do with my coworkers. God, these letters. I fucking had a stroke trying to read these letters in the VN. Such such fucking flowery language. Let's see let's see how the how the translator handles it. Come on. So, good, but such a downgrade from the manga. I knew that fucking panel from the manga way before I even knew about fucking what Muv Love Alternative was. But the ball has started to roll. Motions are on the vent now that will change everything. And, and nothing, because things are set in like you know time is linear yada yada all that i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about i'm so tired guys and i have to be at work in 10 hours so yeah i'll be uh i thought about finishing this and then recording another episode of one but uh yeah that ain't happening i am not mentally coherent enough for that hell i'm fucking barely coherent enough for this but here i am Normally, I would be better, uh, but my shaker bottle that I have, like, my uh, fucking energy drinks in uh, had mold in it this morning, which, ew, that was gross. So that's in the washing machine. So now you're dealing with uh, with tired me right before bed. Not as bad as uh, drunk me that was in that, uh, that video that was also uploaded today. I apologize for that, for uh, <laughs> those people watching it. Oof. Any any post credit scene? Anything? Anything at all? Nada. Sweet. Well, that concludes our Muv Love Alternative to Animation uh, episode for today. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all next time for uh, episode eight. Episode eight. Yeah, let's go with eight, even if that's not right. Episode eight of Muv Love Alternative. I hope to see you all there later.